Hey, Mark Rice here. In the previous video, we created this beautiful background. Now we will add fire and smoke. And before we start, I want to thank you for the support, for all those likes and comments. And you will enjoy this video as well. So let's go. Okay, so here, as you can see, I already imported the layers. And if you don't know how to do that, just check out the previous video. And before we start, you need to know that there are thousand different ways to animate the fire. But this is the most easiest way. So first, I will change the opacity for the smoke. So select the smoke layer, hit T on the keyboard, and here instead 100, it can be 50. And of course, you can play with this while I here. And now we need to change the anchor point for the red part of the fire, yellow part of the fire, and for the smoke as well. So select that red part of the fire, then go here and pick up the pen behind tool. Okay, I need to zoom it a bit. Now hold that anchor point and just move it down below. I will do the same for the yellow part of the fire and for the smoke. And the next step is very important as well, so don't skip it. I need to create shapes from these vector layers. It will be much better for the animation workflow and the quality of the animation will be perfect. So we will do that for the smoke, for the red part of the fire and for the yellow part of the fire. Select these layers, click with the right mouse button, then go here into create and select create shapes from vector layers. And here as you can see I got new layers, okay move it here and I will delete the old ones, because I don't need that, and I want clean space here. And finally we can start with animation. So in my opinion the best way to animate fire is frame by frame animation, traditional frame by frame animation. But here we will do something completely different, just with one simple effect, in a couple of different settings. So let me show you. First select the red part of the fire, then click with the right mouse button, go here into effect, then distort, and here down below pick up the wave warp effect. And before I show you the default animation, I need to change the duration of the animation. So the whole animation will be 2 seconds. Ok, I will change the timeline here and I will increase the size here. Ok, so basically that's it. And for now we have something like this. Ok, it's not bad, but it's far from our final result. So we will do a couple of different settings. Don't forget to select that layer. Then go here into effect controls and here we will change a couple of different settings. Of course you can play with these settings and adapt an animation to your taste. But before I start with the recording, I tried a couple of different things. And I will show you what I like. So you can change these settings here, or just go into the layer, then effect, and you can change that here as well. But in my opinion, this is the easiest way. So here I will put 20, here will be 100, and the direction of the fire will be 0. And for now we have something like this. Ok, as you can see it's already better. Now we need to add a little bit of transparency. So select the layer, hit T on the keyboard, and here instead 100, it can be, I don't know, 85. So this part of the fire will be much better if we make it more complex. So select that layer and duplicate it with Ctrl plus D. Then I will change the size and the position of the new layer. So hit S on the keyboard for the scale or for the size, and here it said 100, it will be 50. Then I will grab that layer and move it here. And if you want to boost the dynamic of the fire, you can play with the direction. So here instead 0, it will be 100. And now I can duplicate the new layer and move it here. So select it, duplicate it with Ctrl plus D and move it here. Later of course we can change the position of the layers. Ok, cool, I need to fix this part and this part and it will be perfect. As 
As you can see, it's beautiful. Now we will use the same settings for the yellow part of the fire. So select the red part of the fire, go inside, go into effect and copy the effect with Ctrl plus C. Then select the yellow part of the fire and paste it with Ctrl plus V. And now I can do the same as I did before. I will duplicate it with Ctrl plus D, change the size and the direction of the way. So here will be 50. And here is at zero will be 100. And now we can change the position. Okay. Now we can check the latest update of the animation. Okay, not bad. You can do a few tweaks here and there and it will be perfect. Okay, I like it so I finish with this part. And the next step will be magic with the sparks. Okay, so first I will animate this spark here. Select it. Go on the first frame and here we need to create the keyframe for the position. So hit P on the keyboard and create that keyframe here. And of course we need to move the spark here. Then go on the last frame and move the spark again. Now of course we can play with the trail of the spark. So grab this point here. And this one will be here. Okay, not bad, but you can add a lot of improvements here. So first, select the first keyframe, click with the right mouse button, then go into keyframe assistant, and here select easy ease out. It means that the spark will start fast and finish with the ease, and the movement will be beautiful. So select it, and of course you can boost it as well. So select that keyframe and go here into graph editor. But before that, I will select the second keyframe and hit F9 on the keyboard. So now the complete animation of the spark will be smooth and nice. And then go into graph editor. Here, select this point and drag it to the left. Okay. And it means that the animation will start fast and finish with ease. Look at this, beautiful. Now we can add opacity as well. So go on the first keyframe, hit T on the keyboard and create the keyframe for the opacity. Here on the first frame, it will be 100 of course and at the end will be zero. Select all the keyframes and hit that F9 for the smooth animation. And basically that's it if you want to leave one spark, but we need to copy this spark and create a few different sparks. So select the spark and duplicate it a few times. One, two, three. Now we have four sparks. Select all the sparks layer and hit the U button on the keyboard. Now we have four sparks, but we need to change the trail for each of these sparks. And it's very easy. Select the spark two and just move it here. Then select the upper point here, move it here. And you can play with this part as well. Something like this. I will do that with the next part as well. And with the last one. And we need one more thing here dynamic so everything what you need to do is move these layers here and there but before that we need to create loops for these layers and we can do that with loop out expressions so go here on the first frame okay then hold out on the keyboard and click on this stopwatch icon here and here type loop okay loop out and here select circle then copy this expression and do the same for the opacity. And you need to do that for each of these layers. Mm -hmm. 
And now we can play with the position of the layers. Something like this. Okay, and then keep playing with the sizes as well. So here will be 100, here it can be 70, here it can be 120, and here maybe 45. Now the third part. We can make this environment more realistic. And we will do that with this shadow here, with this glow of the fire, with the woods, and this glow of the fire here. So first select the fire glow layer. So these are the shapes of that layer. And here everything what we need to do to play with the opacity. So go here on the first frame, hit T on the keyboard and create a keyframe for the opacity. It will be 100. And here I can create one more keyframe, but it will be 50. Okay, now I will copy it a few times. And for the last keyframe, we will copy the first keyframe because we want that loop effect. Then select all the keyframes and hit F9. And, and then we can play with the position of the keyframes because in that way we will get better dynamic of the glow. Look at this. Okay, I like it. So now we will animate the wood shadow, select that layer, go on the first frame, hit T for the opacity settings, create a keyframe, and here it can be 80, for example. Select the layers, hit F9, and now you can copy the keyframes or just use loop out expression. So this time we will use the loop out. And basically I will do the same with this part here and for the woods. So everything what I need to do is copy these keyframes with Ctrl plus C, then select the fire glow, paste it with Ctrl plus V, hit U on the keyboard and here you can play with the settings. I think that 18 is too much so it will be 90. And for the woods layer, Copy it with Ctrl plus V, hit U on the keyboard. Here instead 80 will be 95. Okay, cool, I like it. And now final step, the smoke. So select the smoke layer and add wave warp effect. So click with the right mouse button, then go into effect, distort, and here down below, select the effect. Okay, now go into effect controls, and here instead 10, I will type minus 50. Here will be 150. The direction of the animation will be 20. And here you can control the speed of the animation, so here instead 1 will be 0 0.5. And now this is our final animation. As you can see, it's simple and beautiful. Here we can finish the tutorial, but I decided to show you how to implement this animation into the background that we created in the previous video. So first, what you need to do is to save this file. Go here into file and save it. Okay, then close the project. So go into file and close the project. Okay, cool. Then go into the project, click with the right mouse button, import, file, and okay the file with the fire and smoke, import it. As you can see, I got the new folder here. Go inside, select the composition, and move it here. Okay double click on the pre-composition and here everything what you need to do is turn off the background okay then go in the main background composition okay here you can move your fire 
and now we got this. And that's it for today. In the next part we will animate the main character and after that we will create a lot of simple animation and put that in the main composition. Those parts will be amazing as well. So stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.